I have absolutely no idea what this is. It basically weighs no. It weighs nothing. Ooh, look at this. That's the most beautiful exhaust tip I've ever seen in my entire life. I kind of got caught up in the moment right there. This French word, fragile. I suppose whatever this is, the warranty is most likely voided now. It's all starting to come back to me. I just want to give a shout out to the homie who wrapped this. No need for fragile stickers. Are you kidding me? That's clutch. This is how every single car part ever should arrive. It is indestructible. We've been missing this very important piece. This is properly sick. One of the last pieces for the carbon fiber event in our build. This side is the driver's side mirror. That carbon is glistening. Inhale, step, inhale, step. I got these little baby chicken legs. Oh my gosh. The more you grunt, the easier it gets. All the way from frequency intelligent. Seamless, baby. Nothing but seamless. I've opened up so many exhaust boxes, you'd think I'd be better at it. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out, let's go. It'll always be my favorite mod for any car, a frequency intelligent exhaust for the Nissan Z. I'm throwing these for absolutely no reason. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to listen very, 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 very close. This is a cold startup on a stock exhaust Nissan Z. Headphone users, volume up, volume up. A Strat ASMR channel. More to come. I was hoping this was all gonna fit in the Nissan Z, but now I'm not so sure. Seamless. This is what we call a proper, come on, come on. This is how we do it, boys, look at that. These exhaust tips are so incredibly beautiful. This car is gonna sound amazing. We're gonna let the Nissan Z warm up. This is fair due process on the channel. Innocent until proven guilty. This is the stock exhaust Nissan Z. Also, the registration is expired. Don't worry about it. I make fun of this Nissan Z a lot, but this car absolutely rips. It is so much fun to drive. Manual transmission, 400 horsepower. So headed off to 8080, Casey's gonna do the exhaust install. My registration expired on April 3rd of 2023. It's about five months out of date. I haven't got the title. It's not a good excuse, but it's the excuse that I'm, I'm going with. So if I get pulled over, uh, yeah, anyway. And in other news, I just found out the new wheels for the Z are gonna be here in about two, three weeks. We got Michael Jordan, LeBron James right here. I put your headphones on, it's loud. You make that? I shot it back. Whatever. Let's see it. Let's see it. Gotta make it from here. First from right here. What? What are you talking about? Check this out, Levi. Read it and weep it. Oh, oh, let's go. That was one head. That was first try. First try. That's right, baby. That's right. You don't Thank want you. this sauce. You don't want this sauce. I don't. You I want the pasta, but good. no sauce. I haven't even stretch. I haven't even warmed up yet. It's first to three. I've been working on my jump shot. I'm gonna make it rain, baby. I might have sold the Veyron. I still got a Bugatti. I absolutely love this Bugatti scooter. It is definitely the world's best Uber that money can buy. So the Nissan Z was just dropped off at 8080. Casey's gonna do the exhaust install. It should be done probably tomorrow, but still in today's video. But on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by BetterHelp. Life is just hard. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter where you're from. Losing my dad in 2021 was, and still is, the hardest mental struggle I've ever dealt with. There's not one single day that goes by that I don't think about him, that I don't miss him, and that I don't struggle. And I think everybody has their own personal battles, their own personal struggles, those moments in life when it just wants to tear you apart, it just wants to beat you down. But everybody deserves to be happy and, and everybody deserves to achieve their goals. And I think that therapy is a great way to tackle mental health head on. Now, BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. Finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options in your area, but with better help, they can match you to a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote. After filling out a few simple questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Now check out the link in my description or simply visit betterhelp.com slash Stradman. Clicking that link not only helps support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, helps you connect with a therapist and see if therapy can help you. Now finding a therapist can be a little bit like dating. If 
you're not jiving or connecting with that therapist, which can be common with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. Guys, if you're struggling, maybe you lost a loved one like me, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in my description or simply visit betterhelp.com slash Stradman. And thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. As most of you guys know, a couple weeks ago I bought an IndyCar, but when I showed you guys the IndyCar, I didn't share with you guys how it actually got here to the house. I just sort of pushed it into the back courtyard, and that's because there was another car on the trailer when it arrived in my cul-de-sac. A pre-production prototype, a car that I can now share with you guys today. So, we're gonna backtrack to two weeks ago when the Indy car showed up in my cul-de-sac, and I'm gonna share with you guys what the other car was. So, this was two weeks ago. And right on time, every time. So the car that's in here is the new car that is going on my wall. That is so crazy. I don't know how these guys do it. So from Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, the new wall car. Oh, whoa, what? I was not expecting that. I was not <laughs> expecting that. Now this is sick right now. I have like the chills. We have a Lamborghini Revuelto, the first one in the state of Utah that is here at my house. It's on the words to uh, Bellevue, Washington. So this Revuelto right here is one of the pre-production prototypes. So obviously we're not gonna turn on the car. We're not getting a cold start. We're not getting a launch control. We're not getting any of that. Hey. This thing is so absolutely insane looking. As you guys know, so my spec is gonna be Viola Pacife. I'm taking delivery of my car in, I don't know, November, December. This is absolutely wild. I never imagined this morning this car would be sitting right here. Bell 40 getting, getting the work in right now. Mr. Listen, Cars and Bigs, listen. look at this guy. Net neutral at worst. That's right, baby. The biggest reason the 430 Challenge car was not an ideal car is it weighed so much, whereas this Indy car weighs basically nothing whatsoever. I mean, pushing this thing is an absolute breeze, and it also looks absolutely crazy. I have to admit, as far as like an ideal two-car combo, this is basically it right here. What more in life do you need than a former Indy car and a brand new Lamborghini Revuelto? So my buddy Terminal 8, I went down to his shop during car week, he had this. One thing led to another and, and now it's here and it's going on the wall momentarily. We're just gonna pull this Indy car up the driveway. This combo is so ridiculous. I, I have like seven homies from all around the world and nobody was expecting a Revuelto to be here. It's not every day the Revuelto shows up. We gotta get the exclusive photo with the pink Aventador and the Revuelto together. Now, I can't say for certain right now, but this has gotta be one of the first times ever an Aventador has been parked next to a Revuelto. And it begs the question, we have a wide body right here, and I'm not getting ahead of myself, but just imagine for a single split second, you know it would look good. A wide body, hey, hey, hey. Alex is a purist, Ken's, they're all a bunch of purists. I'm certainly not a purist. Wide body Revuelto, let's go, baby. Baby. Let's go. Let's as go. long as the fit and finish is clean, like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. In purple too. Let's cut Dude, that up. combination, Let's yeah. Slice and, and dice, guy, Gordon. Oh, guy, slice oh, and dice. Guy spent five trying, you gotta get me the exhaust though, bro. I'm just trying to wake up here, sorry. Yeah, good morning, by <laughs> the way. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're modified car guys, James. This man spent five figures on an exhaust twice. You can definitely see the evolution from the Aventador to the Revuelto. The yellow, I have a couple buddies getting yellow Revueltos and I can confirm the color is absolutely beautiful. It's actually crazy how similar my spec is. I have the same diamond cut wheels, my car is purple, all the carbon fiber options, and my interior is basically exactly the same too, except I have white inserts instead of yellow. I cannot wait for the day when the Aventador and the Revueltor are rolling on the freeway together, and we gotta get a proper exhaust for that car so soon. The Aventador sounds so good. I think the Revueltor will sound just as good, if not better. That is a tight squeeze. No big deal. This guy thinks he's sneaky. I see you there, boy. I catch you. I mean, if you insist, why not go? <laughs> we got plenty of time. I say we flip around and yeah, round two. I have about 40 minutes to kill. Uh, the best mod I ever done to any car is an FI exhaust at a Lamborghini Aventador. We're headed off to 8080. The Z is done. And welcome back to the inner vault of 8080. Z is looking so prime. <laughs> I can promise you this, the Nissan Z is not gonna sound like an Aventador. Yeah. It is the best sounding car ever. Now the Nissan Z, honestly I'm like a little bit terrified because yeah. this is the most abysmal exhaust I've ever heard on any car stock in my entire life. It sounds like a minivan. It sounded like a vacuum cleaner when you came in the first time. It's I know. The weird thing though is when you rev it, it takes forever for the revs to drop and I don't know why that is. Okay, okay, that's that's not bad. That's a cold, that's kind of a lukewarm start. It's a nice little purr. It does, a little purr, yeah, like a little baby kitten. 
Considering how it sounded before, that is not bad. The weird thing is still, like when you rev it up, yeah. it takes forever to drop the revs. Why is that? Why know. is that? Is there some engineering reason? I You're the wish, smartest I guy. Casey, if you don't know, I nobody know. knows. You guys know why it takes so long for the revs to drop. Let me know in the comments below. It looks so ridiculous. Bro, you don't look good. You don't look good, but you sound pretty good. All right, all right. I hope you guys can hear the exhaust over the event where the V12's a little bit loud. I realize I probably brought the wrong camera card. The V12 kind of overwhelms the little baby V6. Let's hear it, Casey. Let's hear it. I was foot to the floor in the event, or I was in kind of the wrong gear, but nevertheless, that car's no slouch. It goes like crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This car will get you in trouble because it's so sneaky fast. You're not expecting a car like this, and you got that automatic rev match on downshift. Bada boom, bada bing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the sound is in the low RPMs. As soon as you get into boost, you kind of lose it all. All the turbos spool up, and the car just takes off. It's crazy. When I initially bought the Z, I hated the automatic rev match on downshift, but now now, I feel like Max for staff and like I'm not doing anything whatsoever. It is perfect downshift every single time. When you drive this car like a grandma, the sound is actually incredible. Just like super slow acceleration, right between 2,500 and 3,500. In the lower RPMs, all you hear is exhaust noise, but as soon as you hit boost, you basically just get wind noise. Like there's no real turbo sound in this car. I'm in neutral, I can only rev up to around like 5,000 RPMs. As soon as I put it in first, clutch pushed in, I can rev it all the way. The weird thing is the low RPMs, it sounds amazing, and then when you rev it up higher, it gets progressively worse. Like that was five, 6,000, 2,500 to 3,500. That's the sweet spot right there, right there, right there. And just like that, the Z is leaving temporarily. Mr. Clayton Stark looking so prime with the stash. FYI, the registration is slightly expired. So if you get pulled over, call me. No problem. <laughs> All right, see you, dude. See uh, you hate to see her go. And in this case, you don't really enjoy watching her leave, but when she comes back, absolutely beautiful. We got faith there in the detail van as well. So the car is going to Summit Auto Lab to be wrapped a very unique color coming to the channel soon. The Lamborghini Rovato, so cool to see one of those in the state of Utah. I just heard inside sources tell me my car may be delayed until quarter one of 2024, but the Strato is still tracking for November, December of 2023. So more to come on that. The Nissan Z sounds incredible. It's going to Clayton's to be wrapped a very cool color. That car should be back in about a week's time. The wheels and tires are going to be here about two weeks. So things are starting to move. But on that bombshell, today's video is over.